the minimum length of our passwords, the maximum length of our passwords, also the minimum number of changes in password. So I'm not going to do that in this lab, but I just wanted to show you that you have that capability, that option to create stronger passwords by increasing the maximum length of the password. I'm sorry, or you can increase the minimum length so instead of it being six or whatever you have it defined as, if you want stronger password protection you can increase that to say twelve or fourteen or whatever number you want up to twenty and you can also create a maximum so for those users who want to create a super huge password key they will not be able to do that so right now one of the commands I want to show you is if I go and do the command show system user what this does is it shows us what users are logged into the device. As we can see, our user Aaron is logged in to the device. It gives them what time they logged in at, it gives them how long they've been idle, and where they're at. One of the things I want to show you is that we can log people out of the router way we do this is with the command request system logout then you can follow that up with if I do a question mark you can put the process ID or we can use the terminal or user or the name of the user specifically we'll do the name of the user will do Aaron so when I do this what we should see is we should see this putty session come to an end so request system logout user Aaron, hit enter, and just as you can see, the window went away. So now if I do a show system users, we can see that the user Aaron is no longer logged into the device. So if there's somebody that's doing something on the router that they're not supposed to be, or if there's some user that's logged in, and their session is hung or there is some problem with that you can clear you can boot those people out of the router using the request system logout user option or request system logout option I should say so one last thing I want to show you with user the basic user access and account creation. Let me bring up the putty. So let's go ahead and log in as Aaron, but this time we're going to put a lowercase a instead of a capital A. We're going to put in his password. So what is happening is I'm putting in the password correctly, but we are getting access denied. So let's go ahead and bring up Putty one more time. and verify that we can get in with the correct username capital A and so what we can conclude with that test is that the login name is case sensitive so I put a lowercase a and tried to log in with Aaron and it failed so it's very important that you remember that when you create users that it's case sensitive because like we just saw we created the user 
with a capital A and then tried to log in with a lowercase a and it was denying us access. So the last thing we're going to do in this lab is we just went over basic user access. We showed you how to create users, put them in different user classes, and also showed you some of the password options that you have, creating a minimum and maximum length of password. I'm sorry, minimum and maximum length of for the passwords that your users are able to enter. The next thing we're going to do is show you how to set up basic banner configuration. Let's go ahead and log Aaron out. Let's quit his session. Let's get back in as the root. The way we're going to create our banners is under the